This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. What advice would you give somebody who is just starting out right now? So, you know, got the, you know, there's a lot of new, we got a new sort of baby boomer generation coming out, right? right. I don't know what the hell they call them nowadays, but uh, Gen Z, Y, X, I can't keep up with the damn stuff. You could tell I've been, yeah. I've been a bit of the sun a few times. So, uh, but we got another, you know, a whole new generations of business owners starting out there and I'm super excited for all of them and they need to adapt. Here we are in this AI world, right? Which is, man, you got to be able to adapt faster than ever now. Right. So what advice would you give if I was a 22 year old and I'm about to start my own lawn care service? What does John the Wise and uh, Nikki the Wise tell me? What's it, what is it? Yeah. I think if it was for me and if you're starting in that kind of business, and this kind of varies if you have a wife or kids or anything, but if you don't, move back in with your mom and dad or somebody, take the risk, right? You're young. You can recover if it doesn't work out, but don't be afraid. Go for it all the way. Read as much as possible. Learn from anybody who'll talk to you. When I started my lawn care business, like my, Nikki's just shaking her head like, ah, oh, damn it. Because like I'd... I'd pull into a gas station, like, oh, landscaper. And I'm like, hey, can I ask you some questions? And I would just ask everything. I would take notes. And I'm like, all right, thanks, man. And I would just, I was trying to learn as fast as possible and understand that you're not, like, you're you're not the smartest person. You don't want to be the smartest person in the room. No. Oh, I, my first employee's name was Jose. Jose literally taught me how to become a landscaper. Wow. Taught me how to, like, the right way of doing things, right? Like, I told him, like, look, I, I know enough to know that I don't know. Like, can you teach me? And he's like, let's go. Right? People want to know that you have a witness, right? They want to know, like, yeah, yeah. I'm open to the suggestion, right? So I know that's probably more than one thing, but, like, yeah, that's cool. take a risk. Be willing to go for it. Don't spend your money on a damn new truck, right? right. Go out and, like, just live meager. Like, understand what your goal is. Like, a three- to five-year goal sounds cool. But what's a six, like it, it, a three-year goal? Could you do it in six months, right? If you really put it to it, could you could you get that goal in six months? Could you do it in a year, right? And what's an attainable goal? And if it seems too attainable, it's, then you need to up that ante, right? right? Like you need to really like push yourself. I, I think when people talk to me, I think people play it way too safe. I think people are like, well, if I can grow by 5%, you're like, what is 5% doing, <laughs> right? What? What's your bottom number, right? Are you making money, right? right? If you're making money, awesome, man. Then you have some of your stuff right. Now let's like let let's you need to elevate and push yourself to the next 